hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing hope you all are doing great i am adjunan thank you so much for coming around and if you're new to my channel you're welcome consider subscribing and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post new videos and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love and support i really appreciate you all so in today's tutorial we are going to be making a luxury or a stylish warm shoulder wedding outfit with a statement slip for a little princess so if you're interested keep on watching. i'll be using for this project i have one yard of crepe and this is my cotton lining this is one yard as well and then this is one and a half yards okay as you can see i am going to combine this this is going to be for the lower part while this is going to be for the upper part okay and i also have my uh, one and a half yards of black lining for this part so i'm going to start by drafting out the pattern and i'll be using a 10 year old girl measurement for this dress okay so i'm going to cut sorry i'm going to mark out the bodice length the bodice length is 14 inches then i'm going to add one inch for my sewing allowance making it 15 inches okay so this is 15 inches here i'm going to mark that out okay if you're a returning subscriber you should be familiar with this part by now so this is 15 i'm going to rush this part because i have um a detailed video on how to draft the basic bodies okay so you can just check that out so this part i'm going to rush it okay so this is the body's length okay the next thing to mark out is the ankle measurement which is seven inches okay so i'm going to mark that out as well and then i'll mark out the shoulder measurement which is seven inches as well the shoulder measurement is 14 inches half of that is seven so i have my seven inches here okay on this part i am going to go down by three quarter inch okay because the baby is a bit chubby so i'll bring down the shoulder measurement here as well and then connect for the shoulder slope you can also decide to just go down by half an inch is still okay all right the next thing now is the neck weight i'm going to use three and a half and neck depth i'll make it four inches okay so this is it i'll just connect so after here now i am going to mark out the midpoint of this line that we have here okay so this is it i'm going to fold my tape i have six and quarter there Okay, so I'll just hold it this way to get the mid point. So this is the mid point right there. Okay, so I'll go in by three quarter inch. Okay. Sorry, this is three quarter inch here. So the next thing to do is to mark out the chest measurement. The chest measurement is 33. So I'm going to divide that by four. Whatever I give this, uh, whatever I have, I'm going to mark it out here and i'll also repeat the same on the waist the waist measurement is 30 half of that 30 divided by 4 is um 7.5 so i'm going to mark that out and connect all the points so we can just cut out these basic bodies basic bodies as you can see crafted out remember this is going to be a one shoulder so we're going to finish up this part before we will now craft out the one shoulder part of this dress so the next thing to do is to mark out the dart i'll be adding a dart to this because i want it to have a perfect fit on the girl so i'll go ahead and mark out the chest span is seven inches if you divide that into two that is 3.5 i'm going to mark that out first on the waistline this is 3.5 here okay now this is the upper chest line okay if you mark one inches down that is going to give you the actual chest line okay so this is the line that crosses across sorry <laughs> so this is the line that cuts across exactly on the um, bust or chest okay so whichever one you want to call it so i'm going to connect this is the line okay all right it's from this line now i'll come down by one and a half or two inches i'm going to make it two inches okay which is here 
okay so i'm going to mark the 3.5 as well all right so here now i'll just connect this is my that i have a detailed video on this you can also check that as well okay so i'm going to mark quarter and an inch on both side okay and then connect it back to this point there okay so whatever you have there you need to replace it uh, replace it back on this waist line so i'll just add half an inch on this waist line and connect it back to the chest line okay so this is what we have here i've added my sewing allowance already i used three quarter inch as my sewing allowance if you want you can also use half or one inch it's still okay so this is it i'm going to cut this out so we can determine the one shoulder part of this dress okay so let me just quickly cut it out so we can continue cutting it out this is my basic body so i'll go ahead and open it up now so we can draft or cut out the one shoulder part of this okay so now this is it i just open it up you can now decide the part that you want to use for the one shoulder okay for me i think i will go with um this part which is the right hand side okay so now the next thing to do is to determine how open or small you'd want the one shoulder part to be all right so from this um, upper chest line i'm going to mark out one and a half inches upward this way this is where i want mine to be i don't want it to open okay if you want you can still connect it straight to this line okay but i'll go with this one that i have here Okay, so now I'm going to take this, or you can even use your a free hand and just take it from this neckline. Okay, just move it that way. Okay, um, just connect it to that point, and then you take it down to the armhole area. All right, so this is what I have. It's very easy. I'm going to cut this off now. Like I said earlier, I will be adding a little twist for mine. Okay, I don't want this part to be open. I'll just put a little strap on this other end. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is to mark this point. This is the neckline. So I'm going to bring it down. Okay, so I can notch that part. Okay, so this is it. After cutting this part off, I'm going to notch this point here so that I'll know where to add my strap for this other side that is going to be worn shoulder okay so i'll just cut this off now and connect it back to the neckline like that okay so now on that point i am going to notch it so that i remember that is where my strap is going to be so i'll give it a notch all right so this is what we have here we have the one shoulder okay so now the next thing to do is to cut out the back for the back is very easy you just cut it out exactly um, draft it out as you can see this is my zipper line and this is the ample line this is the neckline that we're working with but there's something that i need to explain here you know this dress we're making is going to have just one sleeve okay and you can see that on this ample i marked out this joining it with this line and why this i use the same thing i did with the front on this one so this part that i just marked directly back to this line is the side that is going to be that's going to have the sleeve while this other side that will go in will also match with the other side that will not have any sleeve okay and here i just have my half an inch marked out for uh, for the back side all right reason being that at the end of the day when you finish joining the front and the back it's going to sit very well on the waist area now for the darts for this back i am going to connect it straight to this armhole line so i'll just mark out remember that we're working with 3.5 so this is 3.5 here okay and i'll just mark that out here and then connect it it's as easy and simple as that after connecting now i am going to cut it out so we can cut on our main 
fabric okay so this is it i'm going to mark quarter inch on both sides same thing i did on the front pattern so whatever you have here you need to return it back to this waist area so i'm going to add half an inch which is here and then connect it back to the chest line okay so now the back pattern is ready i will just cut it out so we can cut off the one shoulder part of this back pattern So this is what I have after cutting it out. So I'm going to open it up as well. We are going to be placing the front pattern on this to get the other side of the one shoulder. So this is it. Okay, so I have my paper. I don't know. But it doesn't matter because we're going to be cutting that side off. So this is the front. You need to open it up to make sure that it's going to match very well. Okay, so I am taking this part that I just marked, this part that have the marker to be the front. Okay, so you need to make sure that the front is facing each other or the back facing each other so that you don't make any mistakes. So by the time you open it up, you will see that everything is going to match nicely. Okay, so I'll just place it over. Okay, now you can see this part is the side that is going to have the sleeve while this other side will not have any sleeve okay so all i'm going to do now is to cut this off i'm going to trace it out first because of this zipper or rather you can just take this in okay you can just take it in this way so that you don't make any mistake and then you place it on top and trace it all out Okay, so I'm just take it now and cut it off. This is for the back side. Alright, this is what I have after cutting the back side out. This is how it looks. Okay, so now moving over to the sleeve. Remember I said we're going to be making a statement sleeve. Okay, or a puff sleeve, whichever one you prefer to call it. So I'm going to keep this aside and here I have a basic sleeve block here. I also have a video on how to drop this. I'll drop it in. I'll drop the link in the description box so that you can check that out. So this is um, a sleeve. This is for a 10 year old as you can see. This is the front and this is the back. So we're going to alter this sleeve to get the statement sleeve. So to do that is very easy. Remember that for the sleeve, all your pleats should either start or end from this line. Okay, this is the ample line or the arm side line so all should either start or end on this line so all i'm going to do now is to mark out one inch till i get to this upper part so from this line now i'll just mark out one inch okay so I'll just keep on marking that out till i get to this upper side there are various ways of going about this but i prefer this method it's very easy and simple to follow right so now i am going to connect them to a straight line because we're going to be slashing it we're going to be using the slash and spread method for this sleeve okay so i'll just connect all to a straight line okay so this is it now this is what we have we are going to slash this open okay but before that we are going to open this center line okay so i am going to come up uh, by one inch okay this is where i will slash it and end it on this point you, need, you don't need to open it all through 
okay so i'll just open it up now okay so this is it I'll just open it up and end it on that point so all this now i am going to cut them off okay if you want you can name them so that you don't make any mistake which is what i'm going to do so this is one this is two this is three and this is five okay you're going to do the same on this other side as well okay so i'm going to slash it open and then place them on the fresh paper that i have here out for the upper part and this is the sleeve and remember that when I slash the sleeve open and also open the side I use half an inch in case you're wondering how many inches this time that I used on this other side that I slashed open I used half inch for that okay so if you want more you can also use three quarter or even one inch it depends on what you want to the volume of your sleeve okay so I will go ahead and cut the lower part so we can start the sewing proper. Here I have one and a half yards. I'll be using this side for the lower part of this dress. Okay, and I have one and a half yard here. So the waist measurement is 30 inches. I'm going to fold it using the three, sorry, the 720 degree method. And I'll be for the side is going to have opening or rather we're going to be joining the sides together because i want this one and half to reach okay so i'm going to fold same way you fold when you want to make a 180 degree flare sorry not 720 is 180 degree okay so i'm going to fold it that way okay it's going to be in a triangle form as you can see and after cutting this side i'm going to fold this other end same way so that i'll have two pieces of this then i'm going to join the sides together okay i'm just trying to make sure that this one have 
sorry one and a half yards will be enough for me okay if you want you can also use enough like three yards will be very okay and then you can use your 360 degree method so i'm going to fold this very well now and then we are going to be marking out the radius that we'll be using now the waist measurement is 30, is 30 inches and then since i want this to be two pieces of this we are going to be using 15 inches which is half of the waist measurement i hope you understand this part i think i'm rushing this so i'm going to fold it very well so we can my fabric folded this is the way you fold when you want to make a 180 degree flare and we're going to be adding a little gather to this dress okay if you want you can also make it a simple flare but i'll be adding a little gather if you want more gather you can increase the yards of uh, fabric that you're working with for this edge you can go ahead and use like three and a half yards okay if you want to achieve enough volume for the ruffles on the waist side okay for this it's just one and a half yard i'm just trying to manage it for this the waist measurement is 30 inches and i'm going to be using half of the waist measurement because this part is going this lower part is going to have i'm going to be joining it on the side okay after cutting this side i'm going to fold this other end that i have left to cut out so that this one and a half yards is, um, is going to be enough for what i'm trying to make so like i was saying i'm going to use half of the waist measurement which is 15 inches okay the waist measurement is 30 so half of that is 15 i'm going to divide that by 3.14 which is the formula for a half circle skirt or a dress so if i divide that i think i'll have 4.77 7. so if you approximate that is going to give me five inches okay so this is five inches here okay if i check what i have left you can see that it's almost 22 inches and the, the length of the waist the lower part is 20 inches now you can see that i don't have much so i'm going to add two inches to this okay making it seven inches so i'm going to use seven inches now so in total this is seven inches so if you don't want to stress like i said just get enough fabric so that you don't end up stressing like i'm doing now <laughs> so i'm going to mark this seven all round and i'll repeat the same on the other side like i said it's going to we're going to be joining it on the sides together okay i am adding these two inches because i want it to have a little ruffle if you want more ruffle just increase it but make sure that you have enough fabric to carry you for that so this is it i'll just mark out the length okay so i have 20 on the dot i'll just mark that out all the way around then when i'm hemming this lower part i'm going to use my bias to do that because i don't have enough um, fabric to hem the lower part so i'll just go ahead and cut this out and also repeat the same on the other side this other end this other end of my fabric i'm going to repeat the same here so i'll go ahead now and cut so we can continue See, I just finished cutting that out and I used my gather stitch to run this through to the end and then I'm going to gather this I'm going to pull it till I have 16 inches you know half inch on both sides is going to be my sewing allowance okay so this front that is what I'm going to do and this is the back and as you can see I just slashed the center open this is going to be my zipper allowance okay so I'll also pull this as well till I get the waist measurement then this is the upper part i will start by sewing in the darts after sewing the dart remember that i used three and a half um, for the darts okay so i'm going to sew all that and then join the shoulders together before we continue in the shoulders together as you can see and i also did the darts on it 
So here I have my strap. Like I said earlier, I'll be adding that to uh, sorry strap to this. If you don't want to add strap, you can just leave it the, the way it is. Okay. So for you to um, cut out this strap, you will be needing uh, your pattern. Okay. So this is the pattern. I think I forgot to show how to cut out this part. So this is your pattern, and you can see that this line that we have here is slanted. Okay. So we are going to bring down from this point. We are going to take it down using a ruler and make sure that it's straight don't use the neck width to bring it down if you use the neck width you are going to make a mistake because at the end of the day on this part it's going to it will not lap very well so you need to just take it down so after taking it down now you can decide how many inch you want to use as the strap and just assuming you want to say you want to make it two inches strap you just mark that out okay down to this point and then connect that straight okay so this is what you're, you'll be cutting out this is what you'll be using as your strap but when you want to cut out you're going to make it times two for example here i have five and a half you're going to cut out two of it as in straight you're going to cut out 11 inches because it's going to go to the back side as well and then remember to add your sewing allowance all right so that is it the next thing to do now is to sew to add the strap to the bodies okay so this is the strap and you can see that i gave it a notch this is where my strap is going to come in so there i'm going to pin it and i'll turn it the other side as well and pin before i now place my um lining on it where I gave it that notches and I did the same on the front. So this is the back side. So I'll just open it up now and I will now take my lining. You should keep it this way. Then I'll take my lining now and place on top so we can sew the neckline. Okay, so this is my lining. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to place it over this way now and stitch. Okay, from the back, I am going to stitch the neck. Okay, so I'm going to run a straight stitch now and then top stitch and I'll also repeat the same on this other one. Now this is the lining. You just need to turn it over this way. Okay, and then take your lining and place on it and just stitch it to the end. So let me just quickly do all this so we can sew the sleeve part. So for the sleeve part anyway, I'll just do this quickly. This is the sleeve part here. Alright, so now at this point, I'm, I'm going to be making a knife pleat on this sleeve. Now, for you to get exactly, by adding the sleeve, for you to get, for you to get it right, you need to open up the armhole this way, okay, and measure what you have on the armhole, okay. So, before you start measuring, make sure you mark out your half an inch for your sewing allowance or one inch, depending on the inch that you prefer using when um, sewing, so this is half an inch there. I'm going to mark it and I'll also do the same on this other side. So I'll place my tape now from that point and move it around gently to check what I have. Here you can see I have 14 inches. So this is to say that I need to pleat this part until I have 14 inches. Now to make it easier for you, you need to notch the center point. This is the center point. You need to notch it. And then you please make sure that by the time you get to this point, you have several inches. And you're going to repeat the same on this other end. Okay, so let me just quickly do what sewing so we can join the lower part and finish up the dress. Joining it, as you can see, this is the back and this is how the front looks. Okay, and I also did the same for this other side. So this is what I have here. So at this point, I'm going to close the sides together so we can fix the sleeve. So this is our sleeve. This is how I pleated mine. Okay. So as you can see, this is the center. You can see that here, the two pleats are facing each other. If you don't want it this way, you can just make your pleat to be one side. It's still okay. So now I'm going to take this. This is the front and this is my lining. I'm going to close this lower part. Okay. And also close the side of my sleeve. Then I'll do the same on this body so we can join the lower part 
of this dress. So before joining the lower part, here I have here I have my lining, like I said earlier, this is three yards, and my lining is by 45 inches. So if you're working with, if your lining is by 60 inches, two yards should be enough. Okay, so I'm going to cut out what I'm using as my lining. Okay, so here, remember that the low, uh, the the down part of this dress, we use seven inches because I didn't have much fabric. So for this one, I'm going to be using... 15 inches okay as that is what i'll be marking out to cut out for the waist area reason being that i want my lining to uh, make the waist part to have a little volume all right so if you don't want this you can just go ahead and use the waist measurement to make your calculation and it's still okay so i'll go ahead and mark out 15 and then i'm going to take it all the way around and then I'll mark out the length of my um, lining and then I'll gather this part so we can join it to the dress. This is so easy. So from here now, I'll just mark out the length that I want to use. I'll be making mine 18 inches. Okay, so I'm going to mark out 18 inches all the way down and then I'll cut. After cutting, I'll use my gather stitch to run it as well on the waist. Now you can see that my lining does not have any opening at the side because I have enough fabric. So the only opening that um, the lining is going to have is just the zipper allowance, okay? So let me just quickly do all the sewing and join the lower part so we can finish up. But it looks after joining everything together, okay? By the time you get to the last stage that I just showed you before sewing, you will see that everything will just show itself on how you go about joining the side, the waist, and every other thing with the sleeve okay so this is what i have now this is how the sleeve um, looks like all that is left for me to do now is to add my zipper and then hem the lower part and then give it a very good press okay so for this dress if you want it to have enough volume at least you you'll be needing two and a half yards for this stage all right so that is it for today please subscribe and i will see you all soon